here is everything that is in my hospital bag come and fly away with me come and fly away with me hey guys so i am currently 39 weeks pregnant which is crazy it's a flying by i thought it would be really fun to do a what's in my hospital bag i did a what's in my birth bag reel on instagram and tiktok and some of you loved it and really keen to see um what i'm packing for the hospital so i thought it'd be best to run through it in a long form video now i will flag i am an overpacker so if you are someone who wants to go minimalist this is probably not the video for you in saying that we do get a few nights stay at the hospital um, that we're going with so i think it's worth having a few extra things i want to know that i always have a set of clean clothes you never know what kind of mess is going to go on after giving birth um and i feel like it's always better to be safe than sorry i hate when i have been advised in the past holidaying or whatever that i should pack less and then i don't have the thing that i want i'd rather have options um in saying that i feel like this isn't totally overboard i feel like this is still fine for someone who is planning to stay um, for a few days after giving birth we also have the option to go and stay at a hotel if we want um after the first night or two at the hospital so i want to take all of that into consideration so we don't have to do any trips back home or sure we wouldn't have to come back and get anything for me um but yeah we'll just see if that happens or not i mean i feel like part of me will just want to come home be in my own space but you never know so here is everything that is in my hospital bag so i'll start with everything that we've packed for bubs um i've got these awesome travel sorters from amazon which I've always used when I travel, but I got some extras. I got pink for her. I've got some black ones for Sean. He has a separate bag, so I'm not gonna go through that. He's in this video. Um, and I got neutral for me. Okay, I've just lowered the camera so you guys can see a little better. Um, so firstly, we have her basics. So a few newborn singlets, as well as some of the newborn onesies that she can pop under any clothes. Um, we've packed a few different outfits. So I think we've packed around four of the Wonder Suits onesies. These can double as sleeping um, pajamas or as things that she can wear in the day. A few of them have matching beanies and so I've kind of kept them in the set together. Um, so for example, this one has a little beanie and little booties. So I've just wrapped it all together so it's all nicely together. I don't have to go hunting for anything. We packed one extra cute little outfit um, just in case we are staying longer if we want her to have a cute little outfit when um, our parents come to visit or her cousin. Um, so this is a cute little pants and um, cardigan set and a beanie, a couple extra things to sleep in. So I think all up we have probably around four wonder suits um, four undergarments and then an extra little cute outfit for her. I have then, of course, packed the oh so important outfit, and this is her going home outfit. Um, so I've put it in its own separate bag, so I have it all ready to go. This is the cutest little set from Ziggy Lou. It's this really cute little woolen number, which I absolutely love. It's still a bit cool here in Melbourne. Um, it has the cutest little booties and beanie, and I've also just popped her undergarment within the beanie so everything is together. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to worry if all the other ones are dirty. She'll definitely have a clean outfit to go home in and of course get her cute little going home picture. <laughs> so exciting. Okay, in terms of like blankets and swaddles, um, I've wanted to pack an extra blanket that we're going to wrap her in, get her scent on it, and then we're actually going to give it to my dad after he comes to visit to bring home while he's looking after our dog. Um, we just want to get, um, Dexter, oh, speak of the devil. Wait, I have to get him. Hello. <laughs> I was just talking about you. Did you hear me? He always gets really freaked out when suitcases come out, but it's all right. I'm not going far this time. Um, so yeah, we're going to um, give my dad a blanket to take home so he can start introducing Dexter to the scent of his new baby sister. So we'll see how he goes and just trying to implement a few strategies into how to make him comfortable with the newborn because Dexter is 13 now and he has been an only child, an only dog his whole life. And so I do worry a little bit about how he's going to cope, but we'll make it work, I'm sure. 
So in terms of blankets, we have two blankets. Um, we have a couple little toys so we can just make her feel cozy and comfortable. And then we've just got two swaddles. So um, these can double as sleeping things or if we give her her first bath um, at the hospital or the hotel, we can utilize these. But these sorters are honestly so convenient and I feel like it just makes everything super easy at the hospital so that I don't have to think, Sean doesn't have to think, everything's there. If I really want to be like OCD organized, I can even chuck a little label on the top of everything so you don't have to like look around. Then I've got this other little bag with just some miscellaneous items. So some extra socks, some mittens, just to keep her warm, an extra hat. And then um, just these, you know, cute little cards that we can use for when she's born. Take some cute little photos at the hospital. So any of those like, Dexter, don't scratch, ah, don't scratch the carpet, please. Ah, 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 ah. Um, but yeah, this is just handy to have a few miscellaneous items and I do have a spare bag and I thought this can just be handy in case there's anything important that she needs to bring home from the hospital or any keepsakes I want to bring home, like her little hospital, um, wristband, things like that. Now I know the hospital provides you with pretty much everything, but I am quite picky about wanting to use like, you know, more natural products. I don't really know what exactly they give you at the hospital. So I am packing. Um, some extra nappies. These ones are from Ecolux as well as some baby wipes. Um, I've also got my postpartum panties. I've just thrown a whole bag of these in there. I'm sure the ones at the hospital will be fine and everyone says stock up at the ones from the hospital but I always just like to have my own things just in case I prefer them. And then if we move along to my side of the bag, um, I've also got one of these big packing sorters for all my main clothes. Okay. So I've got a couple different sets here. I've got a um, really comfy lounge set from Skims in a size up. This is just like a pants and singlet set. I actually have a few of Sean's t-shirts. These are the Uniqlo ones that I've spoken about a bit on Instagram in a large he wears. These, um, I find a really cool like styling pieces that I wear anyway, but they've been really handy in pregnancy because um, they just fit over the bump. They're super comfortable. So I've packed a couple of those. I can sleep in them. I can like wear them with some leggings or whatever. Really handy. I have just some nice woolen um, maternity pants um, that I actually got from a job I did. These ones are from Lego Heritage. Um, they're just warm cute little flare so I can just wear them whenever lounging around. Um, I also have a Skims maternity dress. This is one of those stretchy ones that Skims do. They have like a standard one or a maternity one. Um, but I just thought it is smart to bring a dress one in case of a cesarean. People say dresses are nice just to have like something loose and no tight pant tops. Um, and also just because they're easy to wear, easy to go home in, if I decide to wear that. Um, I've also packed just a spare singlet um, and also just a couple nursing tops. Um, I've got one short sleeve and one long sleeve one. Again, this is from a job I did. They gave these to me, um, but this is obviously really handy for breastfeeding because they've got zips on the side. In terms of the outfit I'm going home in, I'll probably just go home in... Um, the first Skims grey set. It's super comfortable and then I'm just going to bring with me a large comfy jumper. And then I've just packed some sneakers and I feel like that's like cute matching set to go home in. It's super comfy so that'll be good. I then have a, another bag which has um, underwear so I've got a couple maternity bras plus the one that I wear to the hospital I've also been recommended to bring a um, maternity sports bra because that can be really comfortable to wear during the actual labor process um, and then I've got some high-waisted like postpartum kind of underwear that I can also wear so these obviously aren't the disposable ones and some of these are really good because they have the um, slit in them so that you can actually slide the ice blocks um, postpartum ice blocks into them. That's those and I've also got my SRC recovery shorts um, So they're really good for keeping everything in. They're also really good for cesarean recovery if that's something that happens um, I've also ordered just from Amazon this postpartum belly band Apparently this is amazing to just like keep everything 
all hugged in and tight together so you can pretty much wear that supposedly i think if you haven't had a cesarean um straight after birth in terms of extra comfy stuff i have a robe this is a skims robe i also have the matching slippers which i'm wearing right now i can even labor in that as opposed to wearing a hospital gown which doesn't really appeal to me another option i have i will probably not bring both i just haven't decided which i'm gonna go to <laughs> which one i'm gonna go with this is a kind of robe slash dress it doubles um, as both it's also a great going home outfit this is from Lego heritage which is also a maternity brand i've then got two pairs of pajamas the reason i'm packing two is because things can get a little messy after birth so i've got one pair of skims black pajamas these are super comfortable i just have these in a medium i have them in a white as well and i've been wearing both through my pregnancy they still fit me even at 39 weeks um, and the fabric's just really soft and comfy so i'm going to definitely bring those and then i also have just an old um, oversized shirt this is a ralph lauren one um, that i wear as pajamas now fun fact apparently this actually belonged to miley cyrus um yeah random but i actually love it one man's trash is another man's treasure um it's super comfy it's super comfy to sleep in i feel like it'll be really easy for breastfeeding as well because it's got the buttons down the middle but yeah how i ended up with this <laughs> was one of my friends um just received a massive bag of hand-me-downs um from their family um over in america and this was quite a few years ago and i was just over there and raided all of um the bags that were supposedly clothes from miley that she hadn't taken um when her and liam had broken up something like that so yeah there was a lot of junk in there but there was a few decent things that i still kept very random but there you go <laughs> okay so i've um got my toiletries i've started packing i've just got some travel size shampoo and conditioner i probably won't want to use the ones that are in the hospital and i'll definitely want to freshen up after going through labor i've got my perineal body wash as well as all my other aftercare things in another bag i'll show you um i've got some hydrating um this is the summer fridays hydrating uh, jet lag mask. I really love that mask. It's really nice and I feel like I'm going to be really CBF with skincare So that's just a really great thing to chuck on my face um, After that's really easy and keep my skin hydrated. I'm also just gonna last minute pack my extra skincare and things in there I've written myself a little Checklist for last minute things that need to be packed So Sean and I will have that so we can throw things in last minute without forgetting uh, and that will obviously also include my makeup bag. I've got all my makeup in here. Um, I will definitely pack this as well, but that's going to be one of my last minute things because obviously I'm still using that every day. Also, I know it's a massive question about what to wear to the hospital. Um, I have a pile of clothes laid out in my bedroom, so it's all ready to go. So I'm basically wearing a comfortable long sleeve tee with my sports bra underneath. I have a massive oversized jumper and then have some really loose fitting pants that I've been wearing during my pregnancy. They're actually those, I don't know what you call them. I call them poo catches. <laughs> you know, the pants are like hang low. There's the most unattractive name whatsoever. But you know the ones that I'm talking about, they're super comfy and they're a stretchy material. So I'm going to take them, I'm going to wear them to the hospital. And for maximum comfort, I'm going to wear my Ugg boots. Again, I thought about bringing these slippers, but I might just try and limit what I'm packing and just stick with the Ugg boots. So I'll be super comfortable um, on arrival for labor. I'm also planning to wear my headphones and bring an eye mask and just keep that all on me because... It is really common that women's labor can start slowing down on arrival to the hospital just with the new environment, feeling a little like uncomfortable and not settled yet. So just to try and really stay like inwards and in my space and just bringing my things to kind of like tune out, let Sean lead the way and head into our birth suite. And then the last things is my own aftercare stuff. So not for bubs, but for me. Um, I have some extra pads in here. I've got a couple of different brands, so I can just try and see what I like. Um, I have these postpartum cooling pads. Obviously got some breast pad, reusable breast pad discs that I can pop in my bra. I have some beautiful um, soothing postpartum recovery wipes. Again, I'm sure they give you all of this stuff, but I just really wanted um, really nice natural brands I feel comfortable using. I have some nipple cream, apparently nipple balm cream 
He's a bit of a saviour as well as these silverettes. Um, I've had friends speak so highly of these, so I'm just packing these that even if I'm not feeling any pain or sensitivity early on, apparently it's still really good to start using them um, because they can help to prevent, supposedly. I've had a few friends say that, so regardless, it's good to have. I've also got this After Ease after birth contractions spray so basically what this is is a herbal supplement put a few pumps in some water and this can really help with that recovery in the after days it is crazy that i thought that after the birth that it's kind of done but no contractions can continue um for quite a few days after so the brand is called wishing garden and i just got this on amazon i also got another one which is a hormone rebalancer for after giving birth which i will take probably in the weeks after i've taken this one the last thing is of course i've got my peri wash bottle again they also give you these at the hospital generally but i just wanted my own these bottles which i have to figure out how to use i have the wash to go with it as well which is in my toiletries bag so that's pretty much everything that is in my hospital bag as i think i said earlier um i did do a what is in my birth bag which has the things that i actually want at the time of labor and birth um and the things that we want with us in the birthing suite i've done this in a separate reel and tiktok so i will put the link to that below if any of you want to see um, but I would love to know what you think about this. Um, don't come at me if you think that I've packed a lot. Again, I like having my things and I like having extra, knowing that I'm covered for any scenario, any basis, any situation that happens. Look, we might come home after a day or two, but we might not. So I know that I'm completely covered. Um, I also highly recommend these free little books from the memo. I picked this up when I was doing some baby shopping. They just hand it out to you and it just has checklists for every part of your pregnancy and post-pregnancy. It's definitely a little heavy, so that'll be Sean's job to bring that in. But yeah, this baby could be coming any day now. I'm happy that I feel really organized. I packed everything a little later than I was anticipating, but we finally got there. To any mamas out there who are expecting, um, good luck. I hope you are feeling well and I hope you have a wonderful birth, everything that you anticipated and expect, and you are so totally capable. Um, we're all in this together. I will report back after our baby has come to the world. Um, we'll also be moving into our new house, so I'll be doing a few more videos. Um, so let me know what else you'd love to see, and I will chat to you in the next one.